It seems to me that TikTok, when it first started, were people doing silly dances, mm -hmm. and now it's developed into so much more. You're just saying that because you're the biggest TikTok junkie, and you're just trying to be like, no, but it's there's more to it than that. There is. <laughs> I'm fed up of seeing poor old Britney Spears on YouTube. Dancing. Oh. Every fucking day. Oh, safe, Britney. It's, it's, I know. I feel so it's, sorry you know, it's sad. Poor little very, thing. Very, very sad. Yeah. Very it's, sad indeed. It's heartbreaking. It is. Hi, guys. Welcome back to my channel. So Ozzy Osbourne came for Britney. Yes, he did. He came for my girl. Britney, I really like Britney, but this is funny. So Ozzy Osbourne, the rock and roll musician, he was chatting it up with his wife, Sharon, and his kids, Jack and Kelly, on their podcast, The Osbournes. When Ozzy brought up his issues with Britney in an answer to a fan question about TikTok dancing, Ozzy said he was fed up with seeing the poor old pop star's YouTube videos on social media. Sharon clarified that Ozzy was referring to Britney's dancing clips, which appear on her Instagram page. Ozzy noted every effing day. <laughs> Kelly took pity on Britney, saying she felt sorry for the singer. Then Ozzy, Sharon, and Jack all responded in agreement, calling Britney's situation very sad and heartbreaking. Sharon also described Britney Spears as a poor little thing. <laughs> poor little thing. Britney does spend so much of her time shooting homemade dance videos and then posting them on Instagram and Snap. A few times, Britney added knives. Okay, knives, which she claimed were props to her online dance routine. <laughs> it was so bad. Her fans had to call the cops to respond to her house to make sure she was all right. You guys, I saw that video and she was in her underwear and a top. She had two knives in her hands and she was just dancing and then twirling and all that weird movements. She looked crazy. And I didn't know she was posting them on Instagram. I thought it was just for Snap because I tuned in a few times on Snap and then I checked out. I checked out. I was like, oh, no. Oh, no. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> because she looked crazy. And then I noticed her body shape was just odd. She's shaped like a box. Like her torso is so wide. She has a flat stomach and all, but... It's like she's shaped like a box. And I'm not body shaming anyone, but I was just disturbed by how wide her torso is. Like her stomach area is so wide, like it's square. It's like boxy. And then the outfits that she would wear were not flattering to her body. So it was just disturbing watching. And then she didn't care how she would look wearing, like just, she looked <laughs> and I like Britney. I like Britney. B Britney is very strong. She's been through a lot. Yep, she's been through a lot. And I really like her. But before I get into why I really like her, I want to tell you what she said to Ozzy when she responded to him trashing her dance videos. You know, where he called him nauseating. <laughs> oh my gosh. What, what is going on with these entertainers? Um, okay, so Britney starts out by defending Kate Beckinsale, this actress, right? So this is what Britney had to say. Have you guys ever seen the movie Serendipity with Kate Beckinsale? Well, let me tell you, if you haven't, you definitely should. I adore Kate Beckinsale, especially because she's from London. I realized how incredibly cruel people were talking about her Instagram, saying she needs more age-appropriate content. She's in her 50s, and I thought it was pretty bad ASS how she responded with a mini bow in her hair looking literally four years old. What? Not as bad bad as some of my comments saying it's sad that I'm as old as I am and I'm dancing every single day on my Instagram. Number one, I hardly ever dance. And number two, I'm not poor at all. I have more ligature in my left toe than any grown man or woman on earth. If you don't believe me, how long do you think I should keep this going for? In my transparent opinion, wealth and health 
It isn't relied solely on cash and your bank account, which I have lots of that too. It relies on my quest and my own effing interest and how I am demonstrate and serve back these wise a-holes just as Kate did. I thought I taught dance class last week to a couple of teenagers. A lot of the kids were too thin and some were too big. I know what it's like to be judged, so it's a ridiculous and stupid subject initially, but I think it's important to help each other and invite each other to places that help our souls grow. It's good to see others doing Painting class, dance class, what have you seen lately? What are you going to do to help someone out and bring their dreams to life besides being like me and Kate's haters <laughs> saying we're too old or don't have appropriate content? Do you think perhaps they might be offended by what they see? Would a condescending approach be better, like inviting those exact people to my class and let them see how my students are nourishing and living their lives? It's good for the soul, yet frankly, it's not condescending at all. It's being a smart ASS, and damn, those are usually pretty attractive. On the flip side, there are actually people that do help others out and mean well that don't embarrass or demor demoralize another. Personally, I believe that being vulnerable enough to ask someone for inspiration or help is incredibly beautiful. But ironically, in the world we live in with how incredibly cruel people can be, you have to be extremely careful who you allow in your circle and your heart and in your heart. I'm going to do a photo shoot with Kate and tell the Osborne family who is the most boring family known to mankind to kindly F off. <laughs> My gosh, when she said the Osborne family, who is the most boring family known to mankind, I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> Let me tell you, years ago, years ago, when they had their reality TV show, and I didn't understand why they were on TV, so I tuned in. I tuned in, and I'm not kidding you when I tell you, I tuned in after five, less than five minutes, I checked. I checked out. I was like, what the hell is this, man? What is this? Man, that crap was so boring. You had Ozzy, who couldn't even speak. He was just like, blah, 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 blah. couldn't understand a word he said. He just mumbled. It was just so boring. It was dark. All they did was sit in this, in that house. And less than five minutes, I checked out. I said, no, mm -mm. we're not doing this. No, 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 no. Nope, we are not doing this devil worshiping mess. No, 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 no. I said, devil, get thee behind. No, no, no. You got to go. Yeah, I checked out. Mm -mm. So, <laughs> So it is refreshing to see that I wasn't the only one who thought that that crap was boring. That show was boring. Like, get out of here. What the hell? Yeah, but um, that was funny. And um, Brittany was like, F off, you boring devil worshiper. Uh, so, um, yeah, Brittany, I like her a lot. And uh, I think that she's very strong. I'm glad that she's back and she's not under that conservatorship anymore. And I'm glad she's taking control of her life. Yeah, it, look, it may look crazy and all, but that's what she's used to. Remember, she's been in the industry since she was six years old, maybe younger. You know, her parents sold her out, right? So this is what she knows. But I'm glad she's she gets to control her life and make her own decisions. So I, I'm glad. You know, she's been through a lot. Let me tell you why I like Britney. Because I remember this documentary. She was sitting, getting her hair done, I think, or her makeup. And she said, I think they asked her a question. Or she just said, I just want to be a mother. I just want to be a mother. I just want to raise my kids, my boys, and be a mother. Like, she wanted out. She wanted out of the industry. She just wanted to raise her, her kids. And I was like, oh, my gosh. It was sad. It was so sad. You could tell. She didn't care about that industry anymore. But they're not going to let her go because she's a cash cow. She makes too much money for them. 
right? So it's really sad that she's stuck. It's sad everything that she's been through. She's been through hell. You know, the MK Ultra, the mind control. My gosh, Brittany. She's really a survivor because when she was under that conservatorship and the things that they had her do, she had to go to the lab every, like, five times a week, right? Doing all these electroshock, all these things to her brain, the MK Ultra. She, there's a lot that she's not saying, but she said a lot. In the, in the court, she said a lot, a lot. And it's a lot worse than what she said. Right, and then they would have the doctor. She couldn't even go outside. Only with a handler, her so-called well, her ex-husband now, that Sam guy. Oh yeah, that guy was put on her life to control her, so he could report back to them. I'm telling you, that Sam guy was her handler. But I'm glad she divorced him, and I just have a soft spot for her. You could tell she has a great heart, you know, but. A lot of them are evil, but you could tell Britney's not one of them. So yeah, Ozzy, back up. Do not come for Britney. Yeah, you had a point and all, but still, do not come for Britney, okay? Because Britney is a star. Not a star, but a star. When it hits like, isn't she lucky? Wait, <clears throat> isn't she lucky, this Hollywood girl? And they say she lucky. She's a star, but she cry, cry, cries. <laughs> Let me see. Oh, sometimes I run, sometimes, sometimes I hide, sometimes I'm scared of you. But all I really want is to hold you tight, treat you right. Okay, and um, oh wait, what's the other one? Down, don't let me be the last to know. Down, hold back, just let it go. I need to hear you say you need me all the way if you love me so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I listen. People thought I was using voiceovers. I was told. I've been told that they thought my voice was fake. I was using voiceovers. I don't even need to use a fake voice. This is my voice. This is my voice. It's not fake. I was laughing so hard. Like, because I'm like, people think that? People really thought my voice was fake. That is so funny to me. But uh, nah, this is my voice. But um, so yeah. So Brittany put some clothes on and cut the shenanigans, okay? Cut it out. Okay, I like you. I do. But let's be real. You look crazy, girl. You look crazy. <laughs> oh, let me say this. Why does Sharon and Kelly look like bubble heads? Look at their heads. Their heads look so huge. They've lost so much weight. Look at Kelly. Kelly looks so skinny. It doesn't even look healthy. Are they on Ozempic? Because there's a trend that's going that's been going on with people who's not diabetic. They'll take the, the drug and then to lose weight. Because it makes them lose weight. That's what it's giving. And then Kelly looks so old. What is going on? Yeah, it, it gotta be Ozempic. They got the Ozempic face, the Ozempic head. <laughs> yeah, they just, wow. Kelly looks, wow. I mean, not wow, like wow, but like, oh my gosh, like what? What is going on? Yeah, it gotta be Ozempic. Yeah, Kelly was... She was a pretty girl. I thought she was pretty. When she lost weight, like the regular way, you could tell she looked pretty. I saw a picture years ago, and I was like, whoa, Kelly is stunning. And then, now, I haven't seen these people. I haven't been checking for them, I guess, because I, I don't know. And, yeah, this is my first time seeing them in years. And they look crazy. <laughs> They do look crazy. Look at the bubble heads. I'm sorry. Like, it's just, I'm disturbed. I'm, I'm, it's disturbing to me. But, uh, yeah. And you want to come for Britney? No, let me stop. But, okay, you guys, I'm done. That's all. Thank you for tuning in. Please like. Don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you on the next one. Peace.